Julia. And I'm Becky. And we're going to teach you a Bible verse about God's promises. So in Genesis 9.13, it says, I have placed my rainbow in the clouds. It is a sign of my permanent promise for you and to all the earth. In John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. One way, Jesus! You're the only one that I could live for You're the only 
I'm Annika. And I'm Sam. 1 Peter 2 verse 9 says, But you are a chosen people. A royal priesthood. A holy nation. A people belonging to God. That means we're all part of God's royal family. God made me who I'm meant to be. He loves me just the way I am. God made me who I'm meant to be. His dream for me is so amazing. For this simple reason. To be me, whoa, whoa, my God watches over me, whoa, whoa, I feel like royalty for this simple reason. when someone does something really generous for me. You know what's even better? Is doing something generous for someone else. Yeah, like it says in Matthew 5 verse 16. In the same way, let your light shine before men. That they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. Your light shine. We're not. 
Have you ever been thinking about Jesus and you just got this big smile on your face? Wow, I always smile when I think about my salvation. Well, in Romans chapter 1, verse 16, there's this really cool scripture that says, I am not ashamed of this good news about Christ. It is the power of God at work saving everyone who believes, Jews first and also Gentiles. Oh, wow, that's so cool. I know. you. They will sing your praises, shouting your name in glorious songs. That comes from Psalm 66 verse 4. And today, why don't we join with all of creation and let's worship our super strong God.
I want to talk to you about you and Jesus. He's our very best friend. Can you say that, Jesus? Jesus. Say it again, Jesus, Jesus. Can, be my can be my very best friend. Very best friend. We're singing about a very powerful, awesome God today. We're telling God that He's a super strong God. We're telling Him you created everything. And you know what? He did create everything. And He also created you. Point to you and say, He created me. Do you know why He created you? Have a listen. Have a listen. You know the reason He created you? He created you because He wanted to be your friend. And just like you have a friendship with your friends at school and you have a relationship with your mom and dad and your brothers and sisters, well, Jesus wants to have a relationship. He wants to have a friendship with you. So today, what I wanna ask you, what is the single most important question that anyone will ever ask you? And it's this, have you asked Jesus into your heart? When Jesus becomes your best friend, listen to what He does. Listen to what Jesus does for us. He forgives us of all the things that we've ever done wrong. Everybody say, all the things. He forgives us of all the things we've ever done wrong. And then He gives us a brand new start and a hope for a fantastic, everyone say fantastic, future. So today I want everyone listening, I'm gonna ask you a question. Is Jesus my best friend? Say, I want everyone to close your eyes right now. Have I got a relationship with Jesus? Do I talk to Him? Do I read His Word? Because today, if you've not done that, I'm gonna give you an opportunity to say, Jesus, be my best friend. And I wanna be a Christian and I wanna live for you all the days of my life. And one day I'm gonna meet you in heaven. And if that's you and you want to give your life to Jesus, you wanna open your heart and say, Jesus, come into my heart. I want you to put up your hand. So everyone close your eyes so nobody sees what anyone else is doing. If that's you, I want you to put your hand up nice and tall. Wow, that's fantastic. Isn't that fantastic, guys? Have a look at all their hands. For the rest of you, and for those with your hands raised, I want you to pray this prayer after me. Say, Jesus, today I ask you to forgive me of all the things I've done wrong. Today, I want your forgiveness and I make a big decision to become a Christian. Someone who loves Jesus and someone who says, Jesus, be my best friend. I love you, Jesus. Amen. Give Jesus a big clap. Wonderful. Praise God. One of my favourite scriptures in the whole of the Bible is Matthew 19, 14. But Jesus said, Let the children come to me. Don't stop them. For the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. Remember, kids, you're never too young to know Jesus as your Lord.
Testament, in Romans 10, 9, Paul wrote, For if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. tell our friends and family about Jesus. Yeah, like it says in the Bible, we will tell the next generation the praiseworthy deeds of the Lord. His power and wonders He has done. Psalm 78 verse 4. Come on guys. Are you ready for a rock and roll song? Yeah! Do you hear what I hear today and see? What I see, my generation living for God. There's a sound in the world today, a voice. 
no matter what's happening, with Jesus in your life, everything's going to be all right. As it says in Philippians 4 verse 7, that the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guide your heart and minds in Christ Jesus. Don't you just love the promises of God? When Jesus comes into our lives, He sets us free. And John 8.36 actually says, So if the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed!
God watches over us from heaven and He loves it when we praise Him. Well, in Psalm 66 verse 34, it says, Let heaven and earth praise Him, the seas and all that move in them.
Colossians 2.10 reminds us, He is the Lord over every ruler and authority in the universe. But not only that, He loves us. Psalm 18, one says, I love you, Lord. You are my strength. Let's say it together. I love you, Lord. You are my strength. Love 
Has anyone ever told you that it's crazy to believe in what you cannot see? The Bible says that without faith it is impossible to please God. Because anyone who comes to God must believe that He exists. And He rewards those who earnestly seek Him. Hebrews 11 verse 6 